everyone. Welcome to Chemistry Concepts. And in today's session, we'll discuss about the application of phase law to two component system that is lead and silver system. And the word is what gives you two component system. That means C will be equals to two. Last two videos we have discussed about one component system that is water and sulfur. Today we shall discuss about <coughs> lead and silver system. And here in lead and silver system, mainly you can see two differences. That is, we are considering temperature and composition, not pressure. And tell you the reason why. That is composition on x-axis and temperature on y-axis. We are not considering pressure. That means in the three independent variables that is composition, temperature and pressure if you consider pressure it becomes three dimensional which cannot be represented on the paper. So that's why what we are doing we are keeping the pressure as constant and we are taking composition on x-axis and temperature on y-axis and, and then the phase rule will be written as if this equals to C is P plus 1. This is the difference between a single component and two component system. They will say F is equals to C minus P plus 2. Here F is equals to C minus P plus 1. This phase rule it is known as condensing phase rule or reduced phase rule. F is equals to C minus P plus 1. That is known as condenser or reduced phase rule. And coming to the coming to the phase diagram of lead silver system. Here, as I mentioned, the two independent variables. A represents the melting point of silver. A represents melting point of silver. And B represents B represents the melting point of lead. And this AC curve it represents a what this AC curve marks is on uh, addition of lead to silver it trade I mean, addition of lead to silver lead to the reduce system or uh, lowers the melting point that means two phases will be in equilibrium that is solid AG and the solution of PB in AG that means we are adding lead to the silver on uh, addition of lead, what happens? It reduces the melting point. towards the melting point. That is, two phases will be in equilibrium. So the two phases. So that is, if you calculate the degree of lead, you get F is equals to C minus P plus one. That is, two component system, two phases. F will be equals to one. That means F is univariate system. Means you can consider any one of the independent variables and then B as I told you B represents the melting point of lead upon what does this BC curve represent BC curve represents that upon addition of uh, upon addition of silver to the lead low is the melting point and this is and here the two phases will be in equilibrium. That is solid PB and solution of AG in PB, that is silver and lead. Here also two phases will be equilibrium as I said. So limit F is equals to 1. That means it is a monovariant system. And we have one more one more point here, that is point C. This point, see, it is known as etiotic point. Remember, you will get this etiotic point in a two component system only. That is in the silver system and carry water system. And coming to this point, see, what, what, is, uh, what happens at a point C? At a point C, A 
and B intersects at the point C, which is known as ecliptic point. And what is meant by ecliptic? The two mixtures, solid uh, AG or um, solid AB. The melting point of this will be low when compared to solid AG and solid. Again, I am repeating what is ecliptic? The melting point of temperature will be more or so will be less here when compared to the constraints that is a, a solid AG and solid P that is what we call it as a ecliptic point at the point here the temperature melting point will be less when compared to the constant melting points of AG and P at this point three phases will be in equilibrium that is solid AG, solid PV and solution so three phases in equilibrium if okay, is equals to C minus P plus 1 that is F is equals to 2 minus 3 phases plus 1 that is F is equals to 0 that means this is a non variant system F is equals to 0 yes. you get F is equals to 0 at the point so that is at the point point degree of freedom will be non variant and one more that is above the area above the curve ACB in the area this area it has a single phase that is liquid PB or AG we will get F is equals to 2 minus 1 plus 1 that is F is equals to 2 2 it is F is equals to 2 minus it is bivariate system this is a bivariant system. This is monovariant, this is a monovariant system, this is a non-variant system, this is a bivariant system. And at a at the next thing, below the curve AC, there exist two phases that is solid AG plus solution, and below the curve BC there exist two phases that is solid um, PB, solid PB plus solution and below the area that means the temperature below 3 not 3 degrees celsius there exist two phases both solid ag and solid lead so you will get two phases either below ac or below bc and the temperature below 3 not 3 degrees celsius you get two phases that is if is equals to 2 minus how many phases? 2 phases f is equals to 1 that means <coughs> below 10 or 3 degrees Celsius the degree of freedom will be monovariant the system is monovariant and what happens at the ecliptic point if it reaches um, if you apply the temperature more than this ecliptic point what happens the solid phase will be disappear and if you cool below this 3 or 3 degrees celsius what happens uh, the solution of sorry the solution phase it does not exist this is briefly about application of phase rule 2 component system that is lead silver system very easy one and this 962 degrees is nothing but a mm, melting point of silver three so is nothing but a melting point of uh, P and this is a ecliptic point where you can see the mixture ecliptic mixture of two substances that means 97.5 AB uh, and 2.5 AG so this is about AB system hope uh, you like this video yeah. do comment and like share and subscribe to chemistry so center then this is my sign off